Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you how I make my clip-on face shield. Isn't this awesome? We're using the laminator today and making this really quick project for a face shield. There is a free pattern down in the description box and this pattern has three different sizes. Hello everybody, thanks for joining me today. Before we get started making the clip-on face shield, I just have a little small disclaimer because I like to keep it real with you here on my YouTube channel. I am not a medical professional. I make no medical claims about a face shield versus a cloth face mask. I'm just sharing today what I have found to be very beneficial for me. And our family. I've done some research before switching from a cloth face mask to the face shield. So I'm going to just link some articles or videos down in the description box that help me determine whether the face shield was right for us. So be sure, I always say, do your own research and uh, if the face shield is something that you're interested in, then I think you're going to really love this idea. So we went to Alabama for a family emergency about a week ago. And while we were there, Harlan's aunt purchased a face shield for me and I loved it. Let me tell you some of the reasons why I love this face shield versus the cloth face mask. For a couple of months now, uh, I've had several people ask me if I would do a video showing how to make a face mask. And uh, I've been on the fence about it because to be really honest, I've tried seven different face mask patterns. <laughs> and while they are super, super cute, they're just so uncomfortable for me. And this is, I'm just speaking in my experience, okay? Uh, it's been the summer months and it is extremely hot. <laughs> and uh, even though I can breathe with the cloth face mask on, I can breathe fine. It's just hot. And uh, I constantly feel like someone just has their mask their hand over my mouth. I feel like I have to talk louder, even though I'm sure the person I'm talking to hears me fine. I, I feel like I have to talk louder with a cloth face mask on covering my mouth. And I found that uh, I was constantly readjusting with all seven different styles, y'all. I've, I've worn them to the store. <laughs> I've tried them. Some were easier for me to wear than others, but with all of them, I was constantly messing with it, which meant I was constantly touching my face, right? And uh, it would fog up my glasses and uh, it was just so hot. <laughs> it was so hot. And so when uh, his aunt bought me a face shield, I fell in love with it. I didn't feel like I had to rush through the store. Uh, I really, I really cut back on my ventures out because I just feel like I have to rush so that I can hurry up and get the face mask off, right? So, uh, yes, I put the face shield on and I could take my time and go through Sam's Club and look at all the goodies, <laughs> all the snacks. And, uh, I didn't feel rushed and I felt like I could talk to Harlan and I could talk to his aunt and, uh, it just made the whole experience much more enjoyable and I still felt protected and I felt like the face shield was also protecting others from me if possibly uh, I had anything that <laughs> they might get. I don't know y'all. This COVID stuff has been so crazy, right? So let me show you. Uh, so she bought me the face shield and then Harlan loved it and he wants one to wear to work when he goes back to work. Uh, but we ran out of time, so we didn't have a chance to go back and get another. So I was like, okay, all the way home, I was thinking, how can we do this? How can we make one? So that's what we're doing today. Let me just demonstrate. I do have a free pattern. It's a two-page PDF. You tape it together. There's three sizes, okay? That's in the description box down below. Uh, and so let me just do a demonstration. I use this with my prescription glasses. I have bifocals. <laughs> But I show you using a pair of cheap reading glasses from the Dollar Tree. The lenses are just taken out. Go up to the Dollar Tree, y'all, if you don't wear glasses or you don't want to put them on your prescription glasses. So here's my face shield. I'm even going to punch a little hole right here with a hole punch so that I can hang this up by the front door with a command hook. 
And I'm going to put a command hook in my car so that I could just hang it when I get in my car, right? So very simple face shield. I'm going to show you how easy. Don't I look funny without my glasses now? <laughs> I'm just clipping it on to one side, bringing it around and clipping it onto the other and y'all, I don't think I'm going to win any beauty contest. And it's surely not as cute as all of the designer fabrics that you can use with your cloth face mask, right? But watch this. <laughs> See all that space right there? Ta-da! I can see. I can talk. Uh, my glasses are not fogging up. And uh, I don't feel like someone is covering my mouth and nose <laughs> throughout the whole time in the store. And I can really just slow down and uh, enjoy my experience out and about. So it does come down. There's three different lengths. Uh, fit them on your face to determine how long you want your face shield to come down. But it does wrap around the side a good distance too. So it's wrapped around and... It is covering your eyes. It goes up to your forehead. See? Isn't that cute? It's super easy, super fast. To take it off, you just unclip it. Put your glasses back on. <laughs> and I'm going to do just a little tiny hole punch, dink, right there, and hang it up by the front door so that uh, it's always there and I don't forget it before I head out into town. All right, so let me show you the things you need to gather to make this clip-on face shield, and we'll get started. For this project, I'm gonna be using my Scotch brand laminator. I am also going to be using the Scotch thermal laminating pouches. These are the five mil thickness laminating pouches. I have a marker. You might wanna use a dry erasing marker so that you can remove your lines, a hot glue gun, and of course some hot glue. <laughs> I'm gonna be using these binding clips. These binding clips come in all different colors and sizes. So we have the little tiny small ones, and we have the great big ones. We'll be using the small ones for this face shield. You'll need a pair of scissors and a pair of glasses. Now y'all, if you don't wear glasses or don't wanna use your prescription glasses, go to the Dollar Tree <laughs> and just pop out the lenses if you don't want those in there. And then down in the description box, there is a free two page PDF. You'll print this out. Make sure to choose actual size in your printing options. And to prepare the pattern, you're just going to cut directly on the line. There's a little indicator on the first page of where to cut it. And then you're gonna tape the two pages together. Line everything up. And just tape it together. To get started, I have my laminator plugged in and on my laminator, there's two heat settings, a three mil and a five mil. I have chosen the five mil setting and we're going to run a laminating sheet through the laminator and I like to run mine through two times. Once you have your laminating sheet all prepared and ready to go, we're gonna bring in the pattern, okay? So this pattern has three different sizes. Go through and determine which length is best for you. There's a short, a medium, and a long. Your laminating sheet should fit directly on all four sides right on the line. To help trace my pattern, I'm just gonna use a couple pieces of tape and just tape my laminating sheet right to the paper pattern. I have shaky hands, y'all, so I have to tape my laminating sheet down or it shifts around and moves. We're gonna take a dry erasing marker and once you've determined what size pattern you want to use, we're just gonna go through and trace 
directly on the line. There's little curved edges, make sure to get those at the bottom and then around up at the top. Once you've traced your lines, you can remove your laminating sheet and the tape and take your pair of scissors and cut directly on the line. One of the reasons why I like to use a marker that washes away is so that I don't have any of the markings on the edges of my mask. So that's why I don't use a Sharpie. Once you're done cutting out, you can take a baby wipe and go through and erase your markings or just a paper towel with some water on it. Go ahead and plug in your glue gun and get that hot and ready. Now that we have our face shield cut out to the right size, we're gonna bring in the paper pattern one more time. I'm gonna just tape mine into place to keep it from shifting at the top and the bottom. And I'm gonna go through and pick out some binding clips. Now these binding clips come in different colors. So for my face shields, I use the purple ones. So everyone knows the purple face shield is mine. Harlan has the red. My mom has a blue one. My dad has clear. On the paper pattern, there are two indications of where we're going to glue our clips to our face shield. The clips, the little binding clips, have two ends. One side has a pinching end, just like this. That little pinching end, we're going to put up towards the top of the mask. Now you can just apply a couple of little dots of hot glue right in the indicated spot. And while the glue is hot, press down your binding clip. And that just takes a second for it to cool off and be nice and secure. We're gonna repeat the process over on the other side. And just like that, y'all, we have finished the face mask. Super duper easy project. Once your binding clips have cooled off, you can remove the face shield from your paper template. Make sure to keep that if you wanna make more for other family members or for yourself. Remove the tape and you're ready to clip on your face shield to a pair of glasses. Now these were just reading glasses from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> You'll clip it onto one side first and then bend it right around the front of the glasses and clip it onto the other side. So there we go, super simple, super easy. Look at all of that space. <laughs> If you're like me, I hope that this demonstration and this face shield template is uh, really helpful for you. Thank you so, so much for watching and we'll see you really soon. Bye everybody.